Stones, slings, and giant things. Israel's first king was named Saul. King Saul did not obey God. So God said to Samuel, the prophet, find a man named Jesse. One of his sons will be the new king. Samuel found Jesse in Bethlehem. He looked at seven of Jesse's sons. They looked handsome and strong. Not them, God said. I don't care about looks. I care about what's in a person's heart. Jesse sent for his youngest son, David, who is tending sheep in the fields. Samuel saw him and God said, he is the one. So David was anointed the new king. God cares more about a person's looks than what is in their heart. True or false? Sometime later, Israel fought the Philistines. A giant Philistine soldier called Goliath challenged the Israelites to send a champion to fight him. But the Israelites were all too afraid. Who did God choose to be the new king of Israel? food to his brothers in the army he heard goliath's challenge and was not afraid how dare he defy god's army asked david i will fight him Surprised, King Saul offered David his armor. No, said David. God help me kill wild beasts. He will help me against Goliath too. David took five stones and a sling. Send this stick of a boy to fight me. You have a spear, said David, but I have the help of Israel's God. <laughs> <laughs>
move it, put a stone into the sling and threw it. It struck Goliath's forehead and knocked him down. The Israelites defeated the Philistines. With God's help, David was a hero. God helped David kill Goliath, the giant, using five stones and a sling. True or false? Thank <music> you.